This video is going to focus on the Dalton model of the atom and how it has changed since it was first discovered. John Dalton was a chemist who was born in 1766 and he started to investigate atoms in the 1800s. He did some experiments and came to the conclusion that all matter was made out of atoms and he also thought that they were indestructible and they couldn't be broken down at all. He also discovered when looking at elements that all the atoms involved in an element were exactly the same. And when he did reactions with those elements, he found out that the atoms rearranged themselves and they turned themselves into compounds. And this was a chemical reaction. Dalton's theories took a while to be accepted because it's difficult to see the atoms, so it's difficult to prove it. And when it was proved, there were some things that were incorrect. So, for example, in 1897, J.J. Thompson showed that the atom contained smaller pieces, which Dalton had thought the atoms could not be broken down. And those smaller pieces were electrons. Then, in 1911, Ernest Rutherford used experimental evidence and he found out the atom must contain a central nucleus, and that was further evidence that an atom contained smaller pieces. Evidence backed up by Niles Bohr, who developed Rutherford's nuclear atomic model even further, and found out that there were shells that the electrons occupied. Okay, let's have a look at a practice question then. So this question says, using the Dalton model as an example, explain how theories may change as new evidence is found. It's worth four marks, and it says you should use the keywords on the right in your answer, which are over here. So what I'd like you to do is think through the information in the video you've just watched, pause the video, and have a go at answering this question now. Okay, you should have paused the video. Let's have a look through the answer then. So, the four marks, you get two points from talking about what the original theory was, and then two marks for talking about the change to the theory. So if we start off with the original theory, the things that you could have put down is that it was Dalton that discovered matter, and it was all made of atoms. For one mark, he thought the atoms were indestructible or couldn't be broken down, is your second mark. And then a third possible mark is, in an element, all the atoms are the same. So that was his original theory. If you've got all three of those, the maximum you can get is two marks. Then the change to the theory, you needed two marks from Thompson discovered electrons, Rutherford discovered the nucleus, and then Bohr discovered electron shells. If you got two from each of those sections, you got four marks. Okay, hopefully that's helped you with this video. What I'd like you to do now is have a go at the review section. The three questions that you've got are, how is today's atom similar and how is it different to Dalton's early ideas? Who discovered the electrons and who discovered the nucleus? Have a go at them and then check back in the video to see if you were right.